the entire span of the sales cycle is divided into two subcategories. 90% of the time is devoted for the interface, which is a preparatory phase. And the 10% of the time is given for the division phase or the mitotic phase. Among these mitotic phase, the shortest ones are the metaphase and the anaphase. So in this video, we'll talk about the events that are taking place in metaphase and anaphase. Now, looking through the microscope, we see a live movie where the chromosomes are segregated in the metaphasic plate and are separated and going to the two separate poles. At the end of prophase, what happens is all the nuclear membrane is broken down. The chromosomes are condensed and totally packaged. Now there are spindles which has growing which are growing and shrinking trying to capture microtubules. This growing and shrinking uh, microtubules would eventually capture a chromosome at its kinetochore. Now, kinetochore is a specialized region at the chromosome. If we look at the structure of the kinetochore, we would see an outer fibrous layer, there is an inner kinetochore, and there is an outer kinetochore. And the microtubule talks to the outer kinetochore and it gets attracted by the outer fibrous layer. Kinetochore is different from the other regions of the chromosome because it has a histone variant and its nucleosome is known as SENP-A. Now, cell has to ensure that during division, the chromosomes are equally segregated and moving towards two poles. That means cell has to understand the tension is proper from both the sides and it is proper time to pull them apart. But if the tension is unequal from both the sides, then what happens? There could be an uneven segregation of the chromosome. As a result, what's shown here, two of these chromatids are going in one side and other of the other side is receiving nothing. This might re result in chromosomal aberration. Now, let us look at how really these chromosomes are separated during anaphase or the, at the end of the metaphase. There are enzymes which are known as separases which can actually break down the cohesin rings. Now cohesin rings, as the name suggests, they really hold the chromatids in a cohesive fashion. But separates cannot work individually because it is already inhibited by securin. Factors like MPF and the anaphage promoting complex breaks down securin. As a result, separates would be free. And now, the separase can really break the cohesin rings. Once the cohesin rings are broken, now it is proper time to pull those chromosomes apart because there is nothing holding them back. But let's say there is a situation where there is an unequal tension that is detected by the tension sensing mechanism such as MAD2. MAD2 is a kinase and it inhibits the MPF and the APC. And as a result, MP and MPF and APC cannot activate separase. And further, it cannot break down the cohesin rings. So the chromatids stay attached to each other. This situation would give the cell some more time to rectify itself. And it would prevent chromosomal aberrations. That's how stringent it is. This is also known as spindle assembly checkpoint, by the way. Now, when everything is proper, the cells, the chromosomes are actually aligned in the metaphage plate and the tension is equal from both the sides. Now it is time to pull them apart in the both side. And if the segregation is proper, at the end of the anaphase, both the poles would receive equal amount of genetic material and nuclear formation would start in the telophase. So I hope this video was informative. If you like, like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.